Today we're going to show how SEV1 NPM can monitor and troubleshoot C systems. So the overview of this demonstration is to show how SEV1 NPM can monitor all the network, including also mainframe systems. SEV1 is a solution that monitors all the network data, including performance and availability, but also it can monitor the mainframe systems allowing you to have a complete view of the network and easily troubleshoot any problem that may impact the performance of the C systems. The story behind this demo is that there are some intermittent issues, problems with the performance of some of the applications running on the C systems. However, the operations teams cannot find why. Sev1, with the, uh, with the anomaly detection and the ability to monitor all the network data and to visually correlate data from different sources, will help us to find where the issue is and how to fix it. So, let's jump into the solution. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the main report, that is the mainframe report that we have here, to see not only the C systems, but also all the networks surrounding it. So, as you can see here, we can see that this is the C systems, actually, and you can see all the network, and you can see some devices that are having problems. Actually, you can see here that on all these network, we have 42 alerts. We can see here the criticality. I can see that the Chicago Edge device is the one having more problems. And that yeah, you can see here the list of the different um, alerts that we are finding. So, the thing is that let's focus on the Z system because we have some issues there. So very easily, what I can do is from the drop down list, select the device. I know this is the device. And this will highlight not only on the map, but also the different alerts that we are having. Okay, so actually you can see that we have three alerts. I have some issues with the round trip time that is higher than expected. And later we will cover that as well. Okay, that's interesting. We are having some issues there. Let's drill down into this device and let's see what issues, what is going on on this device. So what we'll do is come here, click and drill down. Now, as you can see, I'm not living on the report I was before. I'm just having more detailed data about this particular device. And here you can see that we are collecting a lot of very important, very relevant data from the Z systems. Not only availability and response time, as you can see, Let's focus, for example, in the last 24 hours, as you can see here, but also you can see the alerts that we're having and other metrics like network information, TCP, UDP, MVS data, and so on. So actually, we can go through the different sections just to show you, for example, here you have utilization. I can see some spikes of data. Maybe that's related to it. I can see, for example, TCP, connection, section is received, to, uh, sent. Something very interesting here. This solid blue line is the actual metric that we're receiving or we're monitoring, but also you can see this slotted line. This is that in real time, SEV1 is understanding the normal behavior of that metric. As you can see here, we have seasonality as well. So this is gonna be very important later on, but as you can see here, we are started collecting this information. And I can go through some of the sections. For example, this is more like configuration data, like routing gain, uh, TCP buffer size, all this kind of information. And actually, you can see that everything is really static. Again, we are learning the normal behavior. And if something changes, we'll be able to see that and compare with different uh, timeframes. But everything looks quite normal here. Other things like errors. I can see here some errors. I can see the one that generating more errors is this kind of passive drops. I can select it. And yeah, you can see that you can see on the right side, the historical data, you can select multiple ones as well. As you can see, this is what we call this kind of flexible reporting that allows you to focus on that area that you need to focus. But anyway, let's focus on where the issue was that it was on the TCP IP MVS connections. This is what the alert was telling us. So here, first of all, I can see the traffic for each of the TCP connections. Actually, that some of them are generating more traffic at different time of hours than others. That's absolutely fine. But the problem was with the round trip time. And look, if we focus here on the round trip time, I don't really see a problem. And this is very, very common. The problem is that, yeah, I can see two of them are quite high, but those actually, as you will see later, are not the ones 
generating the alert because actually this is normal. This, for example, if I focus on this one, I can see that it's always hide, which is completely normal. They send for its others. And then you have some others that actually it goes up and down all the time. And it's normal because maybe depending on the number of connections, the, 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 the location of the connections, it is quite normal that this is happening. However, step one has detected that among some of these, we are having issues and it's very difficult to see. That's why having an anomaly detection engine is so important to highlight those issues that you don't see. Actually, know that one of the connections that having an issue because I read before the alert is this one. So what we will do is highlight this one and look at this. Now it's very simple to see that this is a problem that look normally is this way. And then had an issue here, and actually I can see that no long ago we had another issue. But how do I know that this is actual a real an anomaly that is not always at this time, this day, always happens because there is a backup running or some maintenance window and so on? Well, actually, what we can do is from here, drill down on this particular metric, go to the data analytics workspace, and analyze this metric. So here, I'm going to go to the baseline to understand the normal behavior. Uh, look at this. We can focus on this one or actually in this issue as well. Actually, let's focus on this one. You can see that, yeah, the solid line is the actual behavior. The dotted line is the normal behavior. And you can see that, yeah, this is not normal. This is an anomaly. That's why SEV1 has generated an alert that we saw before. We have configured is alert me when we detect anomalies on this metric. We have detected this anomaly, that's why we're triggering this data. And this is not the only way to analyze data. We have lots of options, like tomorrow tom time to see between different days. We have projections, we have trends, uh, percentiles. Or for example, one of the things I like the most is this calendar analysis. If I change to the last seven days, I can see if there is any kind of pattern. As you can see, I don't see any pattern. And if now and then we are having the issue, but not always at the same time. Good, this is interesting. We have found an issue. Self one using the anomaly detection and the ability to monitor all the relevant data, we are collecting this information and understanding that there is a problem. The problem I have is that we don't know why we have this problem. So what we're gonna do is go back to the main report and see what are the devices that are generating issues that have problems on the network. Because yes, I can see that this is device having issues. I can see some others having issues. And actually, this one here, that is the uh, the internet router, is having also problems here. Okay, so let's have a look at the problems that we have here. I can see that now both combines, yeah, I can see these issues, and I can see that we have problems on QoS, I'm having issues with CPU, and having issues with the internet quality of the connection, and also that we have some kind of high bandwidth utilization on the internet connection. That's very interesting. Because between these two guys, it looks that there is some problems. Let's see if there is any correlation. So what we're going to do now is drill down to the internet router. I'm going to go to the internet traffic and let's see if there is any problem here. Well, here when I go to the traffic, I don't see any problem because average utilization for the internet connections is quite low. Well, let's show the historical data for the last 48 hours. Actually, let's change this to dash 24 again. As you can see, it's very easy to change the time frame. And look at this. I'm seeing some spikes here, here, and here. And actually, it's over 100%. So maybe this issue or this saturation of the internal links, maybe this is the cause of the problems that we have in on the C systems. How can I know? Well, now I don't want to know if this is normal or not. Now what I want to do is correlate data. I want to see if this issue is correlated with the issue that we have with the C systems. So I'm going to go here and then select the metrics that I want to see. I want to see this metric and also from the C server, I want to see, let's say, well, this was the interface, internet connection, and also I want to see that connection that we saw before that we had issues. That was this one, actually. Which metrics I want to see? I want to see the total traffic, for example from the internet connection, and I want to see the round trip time. This one here. The good thing is that you can select any data. You can correlate in a single report all the data, any metric that you want to see. 
And actually, these two metrics, I can see that, yes, we are having issues. This is what we saw. We have an issue with the running time, and we have an issue with too much traffic. And actually, we can see that this correlates very, very well. When we have the spike of traffic, as you can see here, I can see that the yellow orange line, that is the run trip time of that particular TCP connection on the C system, is going high again. So actually, there is a big correlation. So we found out that the issues that we're having on the C system are because we have saturations on the internet link. But why do we have those saturations on the internet link? Well, another option we can do is go ahead, select flow, and show me the traffic going through that interface at that time. I can see the IP addresses generating traffic, or actually what I can do is select application names because I want to see the actual applications generating traffic. And I can see that, for example, Netflix, there is a spike of traffic, maybe something was released. I can see also telepresence, there were some more traffic. So actually, you know now why you're having that spike of traffic. So actually, what you can do in order to fix the issue, is go to the firewall, for example, and limit the bandwidth assigned to these applications that we have here. So as you can see, in self one what we can do is, first of all, monitor all the network. You can monitor all the switches, all the routers, all the firewalls, all the new technologies as well, as well as your C servers. The good thing is that having this data in correlation with the rest of the data of the network will help you to troubleshoot faster your issues. But not only that, as you can see, when we drill down to a C server, we get a lot of information. All this information, by the way, comes from SNMP. We have the device certified, meaning that anything that is relevant, we will be able to capture. And with our anomaly detection engine, we will help teams to be much more efficient and find issues much, much faster. So as you can see, SEV1 is a very good solution, not only to monitor all your network, but also to monitor your Z slash mainframe network. Thank you for watching.